President Kasim Jumad Tokayev is urging the restoration of administrative and public facilities in parts of the country hit by unrest. The situation is stabilizing after protests over fuel prices turned into violence on Wednesday. Some security forces and dozens of protesters were killed in clashes. President Tokayev has declared January the 10th as a national day of mourning. Members of the regional peacekeeping bloc, the CSTO, have sent troops to help restore order at Kazakhstan's request. On Saturday, the nation's former security chief and former prime minister, Karim Masadunmov, has was detained for treason. Julia Chapman has more. We don't know the exact nature of the accusation apart from that Kamir Masimov has been accused of treason, um, but certainly he is the most high profile person to have been arrested over the uh, week of unrest in Kazakhstan. Uh, he was until this week the head of the domestic intelligence agency. He was twice a prime minister of Kazakhstan and a fierce, uh, fierce loyal ally to the former president, uh, Nursultan Nazarbayev, uh, who we hadn't heard from until today. There was speculation that he had in fact fled the country during all of this unrest. Um, but a spokesperson for the former president uh, tweeted on Saturday that uh, he was still in the capital, uh, he hadn't left the country, and he was urging uh, unity behind uh, current president, Hasim Jamar Takayev. Uh, so certainly uh, there has been some sort of jostling between the old guard and the new. Uh, and also, of course, the deployment of the CSTO military alliance, uh, led by Russia, but also consisting of a number of other former Soviet Soviet allies of Kazakhstan, uh, which has deployed some 2,500 troops to help maintain stability in the country, uh, mostly protecting critical infrastructure. President Takayev says that they are not involved in security operations. Um, but certainly there does seem to be a sort of tense calm on the streets uh, of Almaty, uh, the main city, the largest city, uh, where a lot of these protests were concentrated. Um, but certainly uh, there has been some sporadic gunfire, so things are not entirely back to normal. Uh, the the internet is still controlled for several hours of the day, restricted access, uh, and the borders are still closed for people coming in and out of the country.